DMEC and DSAC surgery typically offer lasting, long-lasting results for our patients. But there are two possible concerns long-term. One is rejection. It is a corneal transplant, so the body can potentially reject the transplant. The risk, though, is quite low. With DMEC, of all the corneal transplants, it's one of the lowest. Um, and then DSAC, and then later the full thickness, the higher uh, rate of rejection would be the more full thickness corneal transplant. It's less than one in 10,000. If rejection were to occur, the patient would uh, experience either redness that, that lasts a few days, sensitivity to light, vision change, or pain. We tell patients to remember RSVP to represent those uh, symptoms related to rejection. The second issue that could potentially occur is the failure of the graft over time. This is again a transplant, and we're transplanting cells, fragile cells. And if rejection were to occur, or for reasons sometimes we don't know, over long term, over decades potentially, uh, years or decades, the graft could lose its functionality. And if that were to happen, then the cornea will become swollen again and we can replace the transplant. DMEC and DSAC surgery, or any type of lamellar corneal transplantation, is far safer than a full thickness corneal transplant. The risks of uh, serious complications is extremely low. And in my uh, 10 plus years of experience, I have never had a patient go blind from the surgery.